Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called The Host. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything Ash, bleh, everything Evil Dead franchise, leading up to and including this episode. Let's dive right in. So yeah, um, Ellie Goss Kelly really lays it on thick, explaining to Brujo and Pablo all the, you know, yeah, all the evidence that Ash must be possessed. And, yeah, as it's true to form, Ash refuses to shut the fuck up. Like, just, like, what he's saying isn't even doing anything, but he just cannot keep his fucking mouth shut for two seconds. Just, you know. And the, you know, he, like, they've got... He, they can barely make out the words he's saying, and he's still, yeah. And, yeah, they tell, you know, Pruko is like, well, I may have to remove the, the lobe. It'll, it'll remove, what was it, his sense of smell and any pleasure he might be able to feel, you know, below, what was it, below the neck, below the belt, something like that. And he's like, you're going to cut my fucking balls off. <laughs> and, let's see. See, uh, then we have the ah. Uh, what the hell did I write? Um. Oh, right, right. This. Is, um. Yeah, yeah. Ellie Goss Kelly is a lot of fun. I th I think uh, so. The actress Dana De Lorenzo. I think she was having a lot of fun playing possessed Kelly just yeah really you this is not the first time that someone in the Evil Dead universe has done something really reckless like get high right before a an exorcism which you know obviously it's not actually affecting Elagos Kelly but she's you know She's talking Pablo into it, though she's actually going to, to shoot him. But, yeah, um, appreciate that it's the, the evil character who tries to, you know, instead of a, a character just being stupid for no good reason, though that could also be funny. And, let's see, we have the, yeah, she manages to find weed. I quite like um, Ruby, you know, talking to Amanda and, you know, saying, you know, that's what I want you to do now. Just breathe and don't worry about it. And, yeah. <laughs> Eligos Kelly, or Kelligos, if you will, and I hope you will, are going to, are using the shotgun as a bong and again it's like Pablo you have to realize how stupid this is but it's yeah honestly there's there's a lot of us straight guys who would do something really stupid if a, a woman we were attracted to were, were trying to talk us into it and yeah, you know, at, at first he's like, ah, you know, weed makes me really paranoid, which, yeah, I mean, this, this might be a decent time for paranoia, and, you know, he's like, how about I grab a Mountain Dew, <laughs> and, let's see, yeah, we, they're, they're, Pablo is talking about, you know, I just want to make sure that, you you know he's he's basically trying to make sure he has her informed consent and the show is trying to make a, a joke out of that because he's like asking a demon and you know yeah but in defense of consent it actually you know him taking longer ends up pissing off Caligos so you know tipping yeah, tipping the demon's hand and saves his life, so you're welcome. And yeah, I quite you know, Kelly Gus says, I can't wait to tear you up. 
and the let's see yeah manages to to slip the the shell in and Pablo talks about when they first met she sneezed on him and he wanted to kiss her so bad like oh my god I'm afraid to ask my exes if I ever said something like that cuz I don't I don't want to know the answer and let's see then we have the the yeah you know he's oh you know boop, if you want. <laughs> yeah and the yeah Kelly Goss tips their hand and the you know they manage to to tie it yeah to start the the exorcism on on Caligos. so nasty when the I if, are those like they're too I feel like they're too small to be eels but some something nasty like poured into to Caligos's mouth which yeah you know if 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 we didn't already know that Sam Raimi was, made, you know, just, yeah. There's always something disgusting going on someone's face and preferably into at least one of their face holes. And, yeah, Kelly Goss vomits it all out and, and Ash is like, when you get back to hell, maybe you should check your aim. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and, you know, Kelly Goss, you know, tries to talk Ash into, you know, and, and says, just put a cross on my grave, and he remembers that she's Jewish. So, you know, he's not quite as, he cares at least a little bit more than he sometimes comes across. Very cool when Kelly Goss climbs out of Kelly and also just the vision of this like hand like clawing like the the, the upper chest just ugh. and <laughs> shoot first shoot first think never yeah that that is his motto and let's see and you know it's again you know this thing of you know conservatives love this idea of ah you just got to go with your gut i mean i guess if demons you know try to take over the world and you know if one of them can teleport i guess that might be the one situation where i would actually agree that okay maybe this is the time to just I love when, when conservatives, I, I know I said this in an earlier episode, it, when talking about an earlier episode, but it's just, I mean, it's almost, it almost feels like self-parody. I guess it's possible that they're, like, that the writers are making fun of conservatives, because, like, you have to create this scenario in order for conservative values to actually make sense, to, to you know, their application to, to not be just harmful to people. And Pablo ends up with the the medallion. Gotta say, when when it burned him, I don't watch Nostalgia Critic anymore. But there's still some of his jokes that I enjoy, and you know the it's quite cool. Oh, maybe not. And let's see. Then we have yeah yeah the thing you know Ash is like. I can't. I can't help but feel like I might be responsible for this, and I don't know what to do. And it doesn't feel good. And Kelly's like, "You're what?" And, and you know, Pablo's like, "Oh, don't don't blame yourself." And Kelly's like, "You're one hundred percent responsible. Maybe even more." <laughs> and again, you know, like she's one hundred percent right. That's exactly right. They would not be in this situation. If he didn't get high and read from the book that he specifically knows no one should read. Just, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah. They they present Ash with the new hand. And, you know, 
fist bump and yeah very very cool and part of what's going on is definitely this allows Bruce Campbell to actually use his hand you know in real life he's you know he doesn't have a prosthetic hand so yeah this is just like a, a you know glove that they you know part of his costume that they made for him but yeah very very cool and the yeah the one piece of IMDb trivia for this episode is this is the second time that Ash receives a metal hand and I think that is everything I have to say yeah um let's see next week I'm thinking Tuesday so eight days from now I should be able to do the next episode